Hello everybody, my name is Alpha TC and welcome to Edge of Dawn. So this is an entirely new game, in fact it came out about 20 minutes before I'm recording this. I'm getting a phone call, I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Okay, toll free. That's, that's great. So anyway, this is a brand new survival game, and me, myself, personally, I love survival games, so I've been looking for more that I can play, but I mean, like, other than the big titles like The Forest, Ark Survival Evolved, Seven Days to Die, stuff like that, I mean, I don't, I don't really know of any good survival games to play. But this is a new one, just came out, and I'm thinking, let's give it a try. I wonder if there's gonna be any cutscenes in it. The trailer for it is... I gotta say, it's not exactly like, you, you know, you can tell it wasn't made by a big company, let's just say that. I mean, it's just, it's a trailer of good gameplay, but it doesn't look like a cutscene. So, I'm wondering if there's actually gonna be cutscenes in this. It's loading something for a while. Anyways, so while we're in the loading screen, I'll tell you a little bit about, um, the progress of how the game was being developed. Not, not being developed. You'll see what I mean. Um... It's a solo developer, so if this game is amazing, and in fact, if it's just anywhere near good, hats off to this uh, developer, because I have tried creating a game. It is hard. Oh, here we are. What do I do? Oh, press E to pick up materials. Okay, that makes sense. Everything is freaking pick upable. Do I have a, do I have a, what's my inventory? Okay. Um, okay. I can't say I'm not incredibly confused. Uh, sure. Yeah, press E to pick up materials. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna run around and pick up a bunch of. Ma Hello? How do I build? Uh, oh. Okay, I press. I was just pressing random buttons to see if there was a building menu, because knowing survival games, there is. Um. Okay, so I think our first step in any survival game is to build a damn uh, shelter. So honestly, right by the right by a big ass body of water, doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Uh, I want to find a little more of, of a, 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 a bit a bit words a bit flatter of ground, because I have a feeling it's kind of gonna be like arc in that if there's a slope, you're not gonna be able to build off of it. Maybe. What what button do I press? What? I tried clicking and stuff. Uh, um. Technical difficulties. So right off the bat a few bugs, but that is to be well expected. This game literally just released into beta So it's kind of sort of early access. I'm still trying to figure out how to place All right, hold on hold on. Let me look in options. I Really hope the game is not still moving while I do this controls Key bindings. Yes, please um, Action left mouse button jump none <laughs> Spacebar, sweetie. What was spacebar being used by before? Oh my god! What? Uh, I, I can't frickin'... Okay, the controls are so weird. Alright, so... I think that went well, is what I can gather from that situation. Uh, let's get some more materials. So that's our first monster. I think that was just... that was big-ass spiders. But, um, okay, so, so the controls are kind of weird, pressing escape, so I press escape to come to this menu, and then escape doesn't do anything. You have to press right click, apparently, just figured that out as I was trying to spam buttons to get out of the menu, because I was being rampaged by spiders. Um, I really want to emphasize the importance of not judging this game too harshly. A single developer made this, and that is a near impossible feat. You know, I've, I've... Um, messed around with making a game before. I if this game is garbage, I made garbage compared to garbage. Okay, uh, we have a problem. What? You jump? Is that what that is? Can't go through trees, can you? Oh, you're just fast as hell! Okay. So, I gotta let you know, there's a little bit of a jump scare aspect to it as well. Okay. Oh! Yep. Um, okay. We are gonna go back to the main menu real quick. And we're gonna restart because apparently, I guess dying near spawn is a really bad idea because then the creatures that killed you are by spawn. 
So we're going to try this again with the very, 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 very tiny amount of knowledge I've gained from that death. Those deaths. And then we're going to, yeah, yeah, we, we got this. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, here we are back in it. Let's try this again. So let's get get all of our materials. I don't even know what these do, but I'm grabbing them because they probably do something. And it doesn't look like we have a uh, it doesn't look like we have a slot limit or a weight limit. It just looks like I can carry things infinitely, which could be an aspect of the game, or it could just be an aspect of it's not fully developed yet. But either way, I'm going to exploit it. <laughs> Except for that, I can't carry unlimited of these. I feel like I already hear something. Oh yeah, that's right. Something came around here very early. So it's like it wants to force you to move away from there as soon as possible. So I'm going to do that. This does give me very the forest vibes and I'm sure this is, you know, um, inspired by games like that, the forest. Because it's hard not to, when you're making a survival game, it's hard not to feel, um, it, it's hard to vary from what other games have already done. That's a bit of a weird rendering thing there, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go up here for, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go, is the ocean safe? Is it all this deep? Either I'm a really fucking even swimmer or that's terrifying. Okay, wait, what? What just... Hello? Okay. Uh, what, what is doing that? Maybe the water kills you. Yeah, if you go out too much in it. I have 22% fear. Uh, how do I crouch? How do I... Cr okay, there is no crouch. I just gotta run. Hopefully we're losing it. I don't know if it can actually keep up, because it seemed to be faster than me earlier. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna... Oh my god! Oh. <clears throat> I get scared too easy, guys. Don't laugh at me, please. <laughs> oh my god, that just gave me a quarter of a heart attack. Oh. It's gonna do it again. Yeah, hello. Okay, how do I get away? <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here real quick. And I'm gonna look at the options to learn the key bindings because they're kind of all over the place. Oh, open craft menu is X and build is C. Okay, that didn't seem to work before, but let's try it. Oh no. Yep, heard that. <laughs> at least it didn't jump scare me that time because that was, you know, pure horror. Oh my God. They're all over the place. I can't escape them. I'm out of stamina. Yep. Okay, good thing it regenerates really freaking quick and it makes me fly. Not literally fly, but you know what I mean. I'm not hearing them, but I know they're still on me based on my previous encounter and it's turning nighttime. Oh, come on, please don't do that. You know, but I, re I really like the vibe the game is giving me. Oh yeah, this is still after me. Um, I really like the vibe the game is giving me. Like the lush forests and stuff, I absolutely love it. It looks so very similar to the forest, it just looks more uh, depressing. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. I think the game focuses on making you feel isolated and alone. And I think that it's actually doing a really good job of that so far. So props to you, developer. So far, I actually am kind of enjoying the game and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I, I wish the, uh, AI of the enemies was a little more refined, but of course, you know, that's why it's in beta. Alright, this looks like a Perfect frickin' place. Nope, C opens the crafting menu, dude. So how do I place? <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Get out of the menu and run. Is there a way to make it peaceful momentarily so I can just like learn? <laughs> Cause it's throwing me into the deep end of the game. I'm, I'm sure, well I'm mostly sure that the game doesn't yet have a difficulty scaling like where, uh, th this doesn't, seem right. Am I at the edge of the map? Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, the difficulty scaling of the game I'm sure is not set up. You know, like, the longer you survive, the harder it gets. I'm pretty sure it's just fucking... You're in, you know? It doesn't change throughout the whole game. It's just hard as hell from the get-go. Because I can't find a single fucking moment alone. <laughs> um... What was that? 
Okay, is that just... <gasps> Something is here. Oh my god, I can't stop running. I can't stop needing to run. Maybe there's a weapon I can make so that I'm not having to run all the time. Alright. I'm sorry I keep doing this, but I'm needing to learn without being thrown in the deep end right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather the materials and see if I can make a weapon or anything like that. Anything that deters them. Alright, so... This is... Okay, campfire. What if it's a thing like... Oh, that's right, I don't know how to place. I'm just gonna press every button till I figure it out. Well, it's telling me to pick up materials. So, maybe it's gonna give me a semi-tutorial? I just need to pick up ma the materials to do so. Oh, I didn't have any stones. Okay, maybe it'll let me place it, because he probably doesn't have a system in yet to be like, oh, you don't- Yeah! Okay, that's what it is. Oh. One is to punch. That's confusing. Yeah, yeah, one is to punch. Okay. We're gonna have to change this stuff around, but I don't have food to cook, dude. I'm gonna put wood in it, but it's probably not gonna do me any good. Oh, there's the logs. Okay, so... Building a foundation... I need two logs, but... I can't, I can't pick up two logs. Uh, that music. I'm sure there's something I'm not understanding. Oh god. Hello? You know what? Okay, that didn't work out. That didn't work out well. Did not work out well. Don't... Oh my gosh. He has... Impeccable timing, I must say, for an NPC. Okay. So, do I just have to keep running at him like this? Hey, he's running at me! I gotta say, this is actually kind of terrifying from my from my end. Okay, I hit him there. Please don't bring in more. I gotta say, this is a little too much already. Okay, they brought in more. Yep, um, that, that's fair. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the fire. Okay. And then that makes you stuck even more to where they get to kill you. All right. I'm learning bit by bit with each time I die. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the options. Gameplay. Let, let's look at these. Difficulty? It, it's on easy? What? Well, that's depressing. I know there's more controls than this, it's just not showing them. Alright, so I'm starting a new game, and, um, I, I have a few things to say about it. One, I think that for what he's done as a solo developer is really good. But, at the same time, it's either I have very limited knowledge, which I do, um, so maybe a little explanation on that could be better. But um, it's either I have very limited limited knowledge, or the game is unplayable due to the crafting stuff and the amount of monsters that come after you. If I knew how to make a weapon, or if I knew how to hold more than two log or more than one log at a time, so I could build, maybe it'd be going better. But I don't know how. Like I'm pressing E, it picks up the log. Okay, I need two logs for the foundation. I go to pick up another log, but it drops the log. You know, like it's that kind of stuff. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, you know? There's no explanation. And again, I don't put the developer at entire fault for this. Obviously, he made the game. These issues are from him, but... Or them. I don't, I don't know who he is, who they are. Um, but still, he did an amazing job for, you know, just a one, one-man uh, task, you know? Either way, um... I don't know how to play. I love what I've experienced, or I like what I've experienced. I can't, I can't say I'm in love with the game because, like, you know, I just haven't experienced it enough to. But like you see, I can't pick up more than one. That music is already kicking in. Please don't tell me that's the fight music. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm starting to use, learn the music at least. Yeah, that's the fight music. No, it's not. 
I've learned nothing. Okay. Um, so the fire, I thought would keep it away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this real quick. How about that? Why is it white? Uh. Oh my god! Hmm. I gotta say, it's good at scaring me at least. Was it white because I'm in combat and can't build? Is that what? It, oh. Or maybe it was just. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Maybe that'll get rid of them. Why is there a build up? Oh god. Um. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Is that a frickin'. That is so cool! That is so cool! There's a moose! Alright. So, I don't know how to play the game, but I absolutely do enjoy what I've seen so far. I'd obviously enjoy it way more if I knew what I'm doing, but I don't. Either way, maybe the developer can release uh, an update, maybe a tutorial, I don't know. Whatever he wants to do, as long as it helps, uh, I'm in full support of. Alright, so in looking back at this episode, um, I can summarize with a few things here. One, this game is not anywhere close to fleshed out. You know, it's not perfect at all. It's not golden. It's not a golden game by any means of the imagination. But it's at least a good start. It has its bugs, has its glitches, has its whatevers. I, I could probably be doing something very wrong. And it could be because of my own stupidity, or it could be because it's not explained well enough. But, um, either way, I hope some changes are made because I, I have a lot of hope in this game, you know? I think it could be something amazing, especially if he continues to work on it. I really hope he doesn't abandon the project because it shows a lot of promise. But message to the developer, if you would like to contact me, maybe we can talk about the game, maybe... You can let me know what I'm doing wrong, just so everybody knows. Um, so we can all enjoy your game. I'd absolutely love that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this game turns out to be something incredible. I, I definitely wouldn't say it's bad. At all. I just think it has its bumps, you know? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.